Hi viewers. Today we will see the solution for a problem on design of periodic line in earth dam uh, without filter. Uh, here uh, you can uh, see the basic concept of uh, uh, periodic line uh, 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 in the case of without filter can be seen here. We can uh, see the uh, dam height and this upstream and downstream slopes. Uh, we can understand uh, uh, blue dash line indicates a priatic line uh, in general it is uh, crossing beyond the uh, focus point that is a uh, tau area so to be adjusted uh, uh, by considering uh, point k uh, in the form of delta a now that can be uh, uh, seen uh, in uh, theoretic uh, data then starting point also to be shifted to the intersection with the upstream surface uh, where such kind of details can be seen in a theory part now we can see the um, real problem on uh, uh, design of uh, such uh, periodic line uh, without uh, filter see the problem statement here uh, an earth dam made of homogeneous material as the following data so coefficient of permeability of dam material is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 centimeter per second then level of the top of the dam is 140 meters the level of deepest river bed is 100 meters hfl of the reservoir 135 top width of the dam is 7 meters then upstream slope is 2.5 is to 1 downstream slope is 2 is to 1 so with this basic then uh, we can uh, determine the periodic line uh, here uh, if you see the diagram here uh, based on uh, uh, river bed uh, we can find out the uh, top level uh, as 40 meters then uh, we can uh, see uh, hfl of the reservoir 135 then uh, that can be considered as 35 meters height above the bed level so in the given uh, uh, figure all the details are worked out uh, by means of uh, various length from one point to another point uh, we will see the details uh, in uh, further slide now see that uh, uh, basic information dam height is uh, calculated as 40 meters then uh, surface water height is 35 meters top width is 7 so first to construct uh, uh, figure first we need to consider the top width uh, as 7 meters then construct upstream slope on the downstream slope then to find out the bed we need to draw the uh, height 40 meters uh, you construct the line from uh, uh, top to bottom where you will get the bottom uh, width so bottom width can be joined uh, can be measured as 206 meters here then find out the alpha uh, angle uh, then uh, bottom width can also be defined accordingly we can understand 7 meters then the left part and the right part uh, then uh, we can uh, see that uh, directrix line uh, uh, which is uh, far away from f uh, with the distance of s then uh, c will be the uh, point uh, where the periodic line is joining uh, it will be equal to the s by 2 then we can find out the surface water with the 35 meters height uh, then uh, we can uh, see that uh, then we can also find out the distance from focus point F to the point B. Then we can also find out the distance from B to uh, uh, heel area. Then we can identify uh, point A on water surface. Uh, that is the starting point where we need to consider that can be identified uh, by multiplying the surface water length in with uh, point 3. Then uh, that will be the starting point that uh, x can also be calculated here we can see that x is equal to 132.5 meters then y is automatically we have seen water height uh, uh, 35 meters then uh, by considering uh, uh, values coordinates uh, in the form of x and y then we can draw the priatic line uh, blue dash line uh, can represent the priatic line starting from a to the c uh, through j so here as it is uh, falling behind the dam uh, then we need to understand should be adjusted uh, by considering point uh, k on downstream so j should be adjusted to k 
so now fj will be equal to the delta a plus a which is measured as uh, 40 meters so adjusted k point can be calculated by knowing the uh, delta a and a that we will uh, see the calculations next uh, uh, small correction we also need to consider the starting point should be shifted from a to uh, b because it has to start with the water, water surface with respect to upstream uh, uh, phase intersection right so that is what the same diagram worked out to get the values now here uh, we can see that uh, uh, first we need to find out uh, value s yes. uh, that can be considered uh, taking the focus at the downstream tau focus point will be the downstream tau of the dam of the origin so as per the uh, equation of parabola so we know that uh, square root x square plus y square is equal to x plus s so from that s is equal to square root x square plus y square minus x so here x and y values can be considered so we have calculated uh, uh, location a from focus f that is uh, x equal to 132.5 meters then uh, y that is nothing but uh, water depth or water height uh, y is equal to 35 meters by considering these values into uh, equation we will get the s now s is equal to 4.545 meters so the here s is uh, nothing but we can see that fd in the diagram distance from focus to the directrix the vertex c of the parabola is equal to that can be identified uh, by considering s by 2 from f is that right now we can see that uh, equation of parabola uh, can be written y is equal to square root square root 2sx plus s square the here uh, we can uh, see that uh, equation y in the form of x by considering uh, uh, s value so y is equal to square root 2 into s 2 into 4.545 will be 9.09x plus s square equal to 20.66 it is the basic information uh, to get the various uh, ordinates uh, range between uh, 0 to 132.5 if you take the s we have already considered uh, uh, x is equal to 132.5 and y is equal to 35 is the uh, point uh, uh, at a uh, starting from x is equal to 0 uh, from the focus so we can consider various intervals from x is equal to 0 to uh, 132 so likewise here we, we took x is equal to 0 10 20 40 80 100 120 and 132.5 so now now you consider the x value into uh, above equation of y where you will get the y value so these are all the coordinates of parabola which are tabulated here so by considering this coordinates top flow line can be drawn by using the values so corrections at the entry and exit should be made uh, we have already seen uh, by means of these values corrections should be uh, considered uh, from i mean a to b and uh, uh, maybe like uh, j to k at uh, downstream area now once you consider the periodic line to correct at a downstream area from j to k so we can understand delta a is nothing but the shift on a downstream phase uh, to consider the periodic line uh, at uh, tau area or within the dam structure there is a equation uh, we can see that a delta a is equal to a plus delta a into 180 minus alpha divided by 400 where tan alpha is equal to 1 1 by 2 so here we can understand uh, whatever the downstream slope we have considered 2h into 1v uh, if you write uh, in the form of dy by dx then uh, we can see that 1 by 2 so uh, here alpha is equal to tan alpha um, is nothing but dy by dx where we can see is equal to 1 by 2 so alpha is equal to tan inverse 1 by 2 which is equal to angle here angle is equal to 22 26 degrees 54 minutes we can understand 24 point 26.54
so now now from the diagram so we have already located point j on downstream by means of constructing periodic line now we are able to measure fj which is equal to delta a plus a uh, from the measurement which is equal to 40 meters 40 meters now now whatever the a plus delta e sorry a plus delta a is equal to 40 that can be considered into the uh, above equation now see here delta a is equal to a plus delta a can be written as 40 then 180 minus alpha is nothing but uh, 26.54 26.54 degrees divided by 400 so from this if you solve you will get delta a is equal to 15 point 3, 5. Now we know a plus delta a is equal to 40. So a is equal to 40 minus delta a that is 15.35. You will get 24.65 meters. So location of clay k is plotted or shifted from j with the distance of delta a. So when you know the a then I can measure from uh, uh, F2 uh, location K then K is identified then ultimately periodic line can be shifted from J to K so that is what the construction of seepage line but the charge can also be calculated the charge through the dam section can be obtained Q is equal to K into S here uh, uh, K is nothing but uh, coefficient of permeability already given uh, k is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 centimeter per second can be rewritten 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters per second yes we have calculated s is equal to 4.545 meters then the charge q is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters per second into 4.545 meters so it's equal to 22.76 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter cube per second for meter length so meter cube per second can be written as q max so the discharge through the dam section uh, i mean without filter uh, equal to 22.76 into 10 to the power of minus 6 q max for meter length of the dam thank you thank you very much